Everybody likes a story of untold, but this is not one of those stories. Where innovators shape the future, there's one name that shines brightly. My name is uh, Hal Finney. Hal Finney, a man whose cryptographic skills were so sharp that some believed he might just be the ingenious Satoshi Nakamoto himself. I'm making this recording for uh, a few reasons, mostly because I want people in the future to be able to hear my voice and uh, maybe something of my story. But who was Hal Finney? Was he a cryptographic genius? I was diagnosed six months ago. Or a key player in the birth of Bitcoin? Or perhaps something more mysterious? This will be an opportunity for me to talk and, and I appreciate uh, the uh, opportunity here to be recorded and to um, allow people in the future to hear me speak even when I can no longer do so. So buckle up as we're going to discover who Hal Finney is and uncover his contribution to the field of the cryptocurrency industry. Hal Finney was born on May 4, 1956, in the scenic town of Colinda, California, surrounded by beautiful landscapes. He studied computer science engineering at the California Institute of Technology. After graduation, he worked for a company called APH Technology Consultants, which developed video games such as Space Attack, Adventures of Tron, Armor Ambush, and Star Strike. And who could ever forget Channel 11's game show for kids? Okay, you have 30 seconds to play. Just say picks to score by hitting the moving target. Television video game over the air. <laughs> He later went to work for the Pretty Good Privacy Corporation in 1991. His journey into cryptography began in the early 1990s when he got interested in PGP encryption. Later, Finney became one of the main developers of PGP, a widely used encryption software that allowed users to send and receive secure emails, which is still used today to protect email communications. This newfound passion transformed his career, making him a respected name in the world of cryptography. One of Finney's most significant contributions to cryptography was his creation called Reusable Proof of Work, RPOW, in 2004. This system used computer power to make digital tokens that could be traded for things. It came before Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. He was also part of the cypherpunk movement, this group believed in using secret codes to keep privacy and free speech safe. In 2008, Halfany recognized the potential of Bitcoin, which made him one of the first to get involved. At the beginning of the Bitcoin era, Finney was the first person to tweet about running Bitcoin. Later, Halfany received an email from a mysterious figure named Satoshi Nakamoto who was looking for feedback on a new digital currency he had developed called Bitcoin. In fact, he was the first person to receive a Bitcoin transaction from its creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. Later, Hal became a crucial contributor to the early development of Bitcoin. Furthermore, Finney stated, when Satoshi announced the first release of the software, I grabbed it right away and further became the first person to download and run Bitcoin software after Satoshi. Finney even mentions that in the early days of mining, he began to mine a few coins and was responsible for fixing several bugs in the early code, and he also helped to develop the first Bitcoin wallet software. Hal Finney was the biggest supporter of the idea that Bitcoin should be a decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer currency that could be used for anonymous transactions by anyone and from anywhere in the world. He believed that Bitcoin had the potential to revolutionize the financial industry and change the way we think about money. Jury will decide a case that could impact the future of internet privacy. Thousands of drugs came through the black website called Silk Road. The government overstepped their boundaries to acquire the info they claim they have. This is not going away. This is going to be the biggest takedown of what is currently in existence. Hal Finney, 
a pioneer in cryptography and an early contributor to Bitcoin's development, faced many controversies in his career. One of the controversies he was involved in was his association with the Silk Road marketplace and was accused of being involved with the marketplace, but he denied any connection. His and internet is underpinned by a virtual currency called Bitcoin. Bitcoins offer anonymized transactions, which can be almost impossible for the police to trace. Another controversy centered on him being suspected of Bitcoin's creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. However, Hal denied these allegations and there was no concrete evidence found to support them. Yet, Finney remained respected by addressing controversies openly. In 2009, he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, a muscle weakening disease. With the help of a computer controlled wheelchair and a special device that allowed him to communicate using his eye movements, Finney continued to write and program until the end of his life. Sadly, in 2014, at the age of 58, he passed away after battling ALS for five years. Just after his legal death was declared on August 28, 2014, Finney's body was transported from a Scottsdale, Arizona hospital to a nearby facility of the cryonics firm known as the Alcor Life Extension Foundation. In reality, more than 20 years ago, Hal Finney and his wife, Fran Finney, both decided to have their bodies cryogenically frozen. His body is kept in an almost totally suspended animation state in a 10-foot-tall tank filled with liquid nitrogen, which contains 450 liters of liquid nitrogen. It is done to prevent the formation of ice crystals and harm his cell membranes, Alcor injected M22 into Finney's blood and other bodily fluids. As Alcor's director and Finney's longtime friend, Max Moore explains, that's where he'll stay until such a time as we have the technology to correct the ailments he had like ALS and the aging process. And then we can bring Hall back happy and whole again. Well, to be honest, no human has ever been brought back to life after being frozen in a cryonic state. However, the concept is viewed as unrealistic by many scientists. According to Fran Finney, her husband was never discouraged by skeptics from investigating a subject he found fascinating. He has consistently been excited about the future, says Fran. Hal Finney's contributions to cryptocurrency and encryption are monumental. His work on PGP and Bitcoin enhanced digital privacy and security. He's an inspiration for future tech leaders. Despite battling with ALS, he continued to contribute to cryptography setting an example for others in similar situations. Hal Finney's story is a testament to the power of innovation, resilience, and determination. His role in shaping Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is unforgettable, guiding us toward a safer digital future.